IT raids at the Eagleton Golf Resort where the Congress MLAs from Gujarat have been camping. The Income Tax Department also carried out raids at DK Shivkumar's residence. We are inside the Eagleton Golf Resort, the very epicenter of all the controversies surrounding the resort politics wherein 39 Gujarat MLAs are staying put at this luxury golf resort. At 7.30 in the morning, IT sleuths swooped down at this very golf resort wherein Energy Minister of Karnataka D.K. Shivkumar as well as his brother D.K. Suresh were holed up inside this resort. The IT sleuths who came 14 in numbers went directly to the rooms behind me. These are the clubhouse and the lodges inside. They went there and raided this very resort. Sources say that it was a two-hour grilling of DK Shiv Kumar which led to crucial information that they got including from the tone pieces of the minister in the room. While this drama unfolded at this resort, several places of DK Shiv Kumar were also raided. While the Congress has been crying foul saying that this is Vandata politics with ulterior motives of defaming the Congress and also putting fear in the minds of these congressmen. News X has exclusive video from inside Eagleton Resort, exclusive video of DK Shiv Kumar being taken for questioning. <laughs> Jay Prakash uh, is joining us live with further details on this story. Jay Prakash, take us through the developments that have been taking place there since the morning. What really is the Karnataka government's position on this entire exercise given the fact that their minister is clearly under the scrutiny. Shiv Kumar, of course, has refused to speak out ever since you got those exclusive visuals for us earlier. But what has the government been saying? Well, absolutely. Uh, the entire rank and file of the Congress uh, and the state official missionary is upset uh, over several factors. Uh, one uh, being uh, raids at this resort uh, without keeping the state police in the loop. Now, there is a very specific uh, you know, clause in the IT raid which says that whenever there is an IT search, the local police should be kept in the loop or even if it's about any minister inside the government, the top police brass should be in the loop because in the eventuality of any kind of untoward incident or uh, uh, you know, uh, protest or uh, which leads to loss of property and loss of life, whose responsibility is it ultimately? It's the state government's responsibility. So the state government has clearly set hit out at the center saying that uh, it, was, it was vendetta politics and uh, the IT department was used for political gains and the official, uh, the uh, state government was not kept in the loop. So this being the case, it's a violation of the IT Act. That is one point uh, wherein uh, Chief Minister has hit out at the center because uh, he also holds the portfolio of Home Ministry. Now, we have been reporting on the fact that uh, entire uh, Ramnagra police have been deployed here, uh, three platoons of police and several uh, you know, inspector rank officers, uh, you know, giving security and keeping an eagle high off, uh, watch on this uh, uh, very resort here. This being the case, the IT department engaged the central forces, which is the bone of contention for the Congress party, saying that why central forces were used in the state, what about uh, cooperative federalism that uh, the, uh, uh, the Prime Minister Narendra Modi speaks about? Why wasn't the state missionary kept in the loop? So that is one point uh, on which the state government attacked uh, the center and the IT department. The second one being uh, singling out uh, DK Shiv Kumar. Now why uh, uh, the raids now? The timing is the you know, main suspect here. Well, the timing of the raids when uh, these 39 MLAs were holed up inside the resort. What is the point in uh, raiding uh, uh, the resort uh, where DK Shukumar was present at that uh, given point of time? He's a very senior rank cabinet officer. What is the kind of message that the IT department wants to send across while raiding, raiding uh, the premises where uh, these uh, Gujarat MLAs are staying? Uh, they're saying that it is uh, IT department is being used uh, for, as, a, as a tool to uh, you know, intimidate them 
put fear in their minds and create some kind of an unrest and anxiety in the minds of these 39 uh, legislators. Every year, sir, that day. Ah, mele, our money only. Nam the connection. All right, so well, we are getting breaking visuals coming in. These are the first visuals of the cash that has been seized from DK Shiv Kumar's residence. Remember, there were reports earlier that almost five crores was re recovered from Shiv Kumar's residence after raids were conducted earlier this morning. And now we are getting exclusive visuals coming in of the cash which has been recovered. Those are the pictures you're seeing of the cash that has been recovered from Shiv Kumar's residence allegedly. Let's get in Jay Prakash for further details on this story. Jay Prakash, pictures emerging that we're putting out for our viewers of the cash that has been allegedly recovered from Shiv Kumar's residence this morning. Well, absolutely. Uh, multiple raids uh, were, were conducted by IT department. Apart from the three, four places in, uh, in Bangalore, uh, his official residence in Karnataka Bhavan. He's got a, a, a room there in Karnataka Bhavan. He's been allotted an apartment there, and the IT department did conduct a raid there. We had information that uh, about 5 crore in hard cash was seized there, but there was no official confirmation on that. But right now we're seeing the pictures of uh, these bundles of 2,000 rupees notes. Uh, I mean, we don't know the exact amount, but uh, it looks huge and it looks in crores. So it's confirmation that uh, cash was in fact seized uh, in the official residence of DK Shiv Kumar in Delhi, in Karnataka Bhavan. Indeed, of course, uh, this is very damaging for Shiv Kumar indeed. And of course, it will raise calls for his ouster from the government. Surely the BJP now will want action. And JDS will want action taken on this minister concerned. Jay Prakash. Well, absolutely. DK Shukumar has been under the IT scanner uh, for a long time. Uh, in fact, when first the Diary Gate uh, episode uh, cropped up, wherein, you know, diary entries were found in the residence of uh, Govind Raju, K. Govind Raju, uh, who is the financial accountant unofficially for Chief Minister Sidramaya, wherein entries are made uh, uh, as to where payments were made. Uh, we saw how, uh, you know, crores of rupees of money was uh, given to uh, Rahul Gandhi's office, Sonia Gandhi's office, Digvijay Singh, all the top uh, Congress leaders there. Uh, in fact, it mentions about Karge also. So uh, the IT department had seized this diary from Govind Raju, and that is when DK Shukumar's name first came in because there is an entry of DK Shukumar contributing towards uh, uh, this uh, fund for the party, and that is when IT department had called him for questioning. Not only DK Shukumar, at the same, very senior leaders, including uh, uh, DK Shukumar uh, and uh, H.C. Madhavapa, and also uh, 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 retired IPS officer Kempaya, uh, he is the, uh, 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 what you can say, as a super cop of uh, Karnataka police because though he's retired, he's been uh, hired as an advisor and he takes the call uh, when, whenever it comes to police department. So that is the first time when DK Shukumar's name came up. But right now, with uh, all these raids going on and now with uh, cash seize at his residence, uh, definitely the BJP and the JDS will be gunning for him, given the fact that he's a very, very uh, heavy poli political heavyweight and uh, he holds a lot of uh, control over the politics uh, in, in Karnataka, especially in the, in the old Mysore region, because he is the Okaliga face of the Congress, uh, given the fact that we are in the election here, and this kind of uh, cash seizures uh, is a major, major embarrassment for the Congress government. There is a lot for the Congress, uh, State Congress to explain as to why he kept so much of cash in his residence. Uh, will this be the end of a political journey of DK Shivkumar uh, in the context of uh, the coming elections needs to be seen? This kind of cash seizure uh, 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 is, is uncalled for and it uh, raises many questions. Now DK Shukumar has to give convincing answers as to why he kept so much of cash. If he fails, then definitely you know, the CBI and ED will come into the picture and he might be arrested very soon. He might be arrested very soon if he doesn't give an explanation, if the cash is really seized from his residence and he doesn't give a convincing answer. So that is a big, big takeaway from this uh, big, huge development that uh, uh, crores of rupees were uh, recovered from the residence of DK Shivkumar at Karnataka Bhavan in Delhi. Absolutely. Uh, that is extremely damaging for the Congress party, isn't it, uh, Jay Prakash? And as you're saying, he has been under the IT scanner for a while. But now with this cash recovery, it could certainly mount worries for Shiv Kumar. He could possibly be arrested and there could be a strong case built up with Prima Facie, this seizure taking place. If no concrete explanation, as you were saying, Jay Prakash is given by the concerned minister. 
Well, absolutely. It's very difficult uh, given the fact that uh, post demonetization there was hardly any liquidity in the market, and whatever transaction happens with, with which is above two lakhs has to be through wire, has to be through RTGS, has to be through check or bank transaction. Now, this kind of hard cash, that too amounting to five crores, is huge, and uh, it's very difficult and unlikely that Shiv Kumar is going to come out with an explanation on this because this is going to pin him down, and this is going to change the way politics is played in Karnataka Congress because uh, he was a uh, you know, aspirant for the chief minister post. He was, in fact, eyeing for the post of a KPCC presidentship, which didn't go to him. In fact, it went to G. K. G. Parmeshwar again. But uh, the Congress cabinet has stood by him. The official release uh, from the chief minister's office say that uh, at this time we stand by D. K. Shiv Kumar. But uh, having said that statement, now the state government is also under the scanner because it has to give an explanation as to how uh, an energy minister uh, who has been uh, a very senior cabinet colleague of theirs has got uh, cash amounting to five crores that too in his Delhi residence. So a lot of explanation needs to come in. But then uh, what I can guess from uh, the developments that we are seeing is uh, immediately Chukumar will be quizzed on, uh, on why uh, he kept so much of money on hand uh, in his Delhi residence uh, he, because uh, he is right now with the IT sleuths in his Sadashi Nagar residence. If he doesn't give uh, any uh, you know, uh, concrete answers or uh, answers that convince them, uh, they will be directly you know, handed over. He will be directly handed over to the police. Then uh, he will be taken to a magistrate's house. Then uh, the uh, ED and CBI will come in. Most probably it will be the enforcement directorate which will take custody of DK Kumar for further questioning. But then this is a very crucial development as far as Karnataka politics is concerned. Now there are a lot of takeaways from we'll this. We have to leave it at One, that. It's certainly a big development for Karnataka politics, but it has national implications as well. Jai Prakash, we leave it at that.